Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add someone to Facebook Business Manager and assign them assets in 2023. Now, Facebook Business Manager is great because it allows you to manage your Facebook pages or multiple Facebook pages, your ad accounts and other assets all in one place. So this is where you can add people or even agencies who are going to help you out with your Facebook pages, your Instagram pages, your ad accounts, things like pixels and other things that you might need help with. Now it's very important to always assign assets through Business Manager. You never ever want to give somebody access to your personal Facebook account. So are you ready? So let's go ahead and let's dive in. All right, everyone. So I'm going to show you two methods in order to add people to your business page and assign assets to them. So the first method is going to be, we're going to add people through business manager. And the second option is we're going to add people through the new Facebook pages experience. So most of you are going to go with option number one, because most of you are here because you want to learn how to add people to your business manager. So if you have business manager set up and it's attached to your business page, you're going to go ahead and just do option number one and then of course scroll to the end of the video but if you don't have your business manager set up or it's not connected to your business page then you're going to go with option number two and you're going to scroll to that part of the video all right so option number one going through a business manager so what you want to do to get the business manager is go to business.facebook.com so the first thing you're going to do when you get here is make sure you're in the right account because some of you might be dealing with multiple accounts so you're gonna come over here just scroll down pick the account you want to work with and it's just as simple as that just make sure it appears next thing you want to do is click under all tools and you're gonna find your business settings so click on that give it a second to load okay and up at the top what you're gonna see is under users you're gonna see people so the very first thing you want to do is add the person that you're adding and then you can assign assets to them from there while we're here, I'm just going to point out a couple of things just so you can make notes, okay? First thing I want you to see is, you can see my name is added right here. So under this client account, I'm added onto her business manager. And if you scroll into the middle, you could see the assigned assets I have. Now let's say that you add somebody, you assign them assets, and then you're like, oh, I forgot to add them to Instagram, or I forgot to give them a pixel access or whatever. No sweat, all you have to do is find their name, come over here, go over to the three little dots on the far right, click on that, and you're gonna click on edit business account permissions. And then that, what that's gonna do is take you back into the setup that you're just gonna see. So we're getting to that, don't worry. Um, but I just want you to know that if you need to make changes after the fact, no sweat at all, okay? Now, if you're working with somebody and you're like, oh, that person has got to go, then all you're gonna do is come over here and very simply click on the remove key. It's gonna ask you to verify and they're gonna be gone. And trust me, it happens. It's very unfortunate, but if you're hiring people to work on your accounts, you will very often want to come remove them. And if you are working with somebody and you're finished working with them, and even though everything went great, definitely remove them from your account as well. Um, is just to protect yourself because even today I was on one of my accounts, uh, one of my client accounts and somebody had changed her password. So I went in and I just cleaned house for her and cleaned everybody out of her system completely, except for me. <laughs> so yeah, it does happen and very unfortunately. So just make sure that you're always coming back and you're always aware of who has access to your account and what they have access to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a new person. So you're gonna click on that add key and you're gonna enter the email address. I recommend if you have assigned them a business address, email address with your business, give them that because that's your second step of security. Because if somebody has to be let go and they're a little disgruntled and you don't want them accessing anything, not only can you remove their access from here, but because it's assigned to their business address, you could close down their, their business email address, I should say, you can go ahead and shut down that business email address on them as well, just so you're just doubly protected everywhere. Okay, um, so what you're gonna do is enter their business email address. If you don't have that, just go ahead and enter their personal email address. And once that's done, you just click on next. 
and it's going to give you the levels of access that you want to give them. It's automatically going to assign basic access to people, or you could give them apps and integrations, or if you click on view advanced, you can give them finance options. So if someone's setting up your financial information for your account and that's all they need, you can go ahead and give them just that part. Um, now, full control kind of gives them the control you have over your business manager. So if you've got a right-hand person um, or somebody that's going to be there when you're not or whatever, go ahead and give them full control. But don't give everybody full control because not everybody needs full control. So for the most part, most people are just going to need a basic access at this level. So go ahead, click uh, basic access. And for this particular person that I'm adding, I want that person to have full control. So I'm going to click on full control where they can basically do everything including adding people to business manager and deleting people from business manager so just click over here and click on manage and then you're going to go ahead and click next so basically from here what facebook does is it gives you a list of all the different assets that you can assign people and grant them access to so if they're going to be looking after your business page if they're going to be looking after uh, maybe you've got two business pages set up under your account or three or more and just then you can go ahead and pick the exact business pages that this particular person is going to have control over um, you could also set them up if you do like a lot of e-commerce you can set them up with catalogs you can set them up with apps you can set them up with pixels so if they're setting up pixels and they're putting the pixels on your website you can go ahead and give them permissions to go ahead and do that if they're working on your instagram account you can go ahead and give them permissions on that. So everything's very nicely laid out for you. I know the first time you come in, it might look a little confusing, but don't you worry. Um, we're going to go through it just one step at a time. So when you're, we're going to start with business, the Facebook business pages, because most of you, that's what you want to assign people. So under pages, you've got new pages, experience and classic pages. You're going to, most people by now would have transitioned to new business, new pages experience. So go ahead and just make sure that that's selected. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to pick the page. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to choose one of her pages because she doesn't need access to the other page. So then what you're going to do is for this particular business page, you're going to select what access you want. So do you want this person just to have access to control the content on the business page? Do you want them to be able to manage ads? Do you want them to be able to like read and send messages? So basically you're just going to go through this and assign them what you want, or if you want this person to have full access you can come over here and it says full control everything so you could just go ahead and turn that on all right so now the pages are set up so you're going to just keep going if you want them to have access to anything else so um, your ad account so maybe i want this person to also manage the ads so again i'm going to go ahead and select the page that i want them to manage the ad access for and then i'm going to go ahead and on this case i'm just going to say manage ad accounts full control so you could read what each of these levels are and uh once again depending on what the person's task and role is going to be you could just you know select only what you want them to have access to okay catalogs most of you won't have to worry about but again if you're dealing with e-commerce and you do have some catalogs available then this is what this is where you would go apps if this business happens to have apps which this business does not so pixels if this person is setting up pixels for you uh, we're going to go there instagram account so this person actually doesn't need access to instagram so i'm just going to skip that so commerce accounts i don't have anything set up with this particular business so the last option is data sets so data sets if you are running like events through facebook for example um data sets is very very important because then the person can control um, the events analytics and look at what's going on and set things up and create conversions for you as well. So in uh, that case, you definitely want the person to have access to the data set. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up for this person. And, and then I'm going to go over here and give them full control over that. Okay. And so that's basically all I want this person to have access to. So all I need to do is go ahead and click the invite button. And then that person is going to get a notification from Facebook that they've been invited and it's going to tell them what they've been invited, what assets they've been invited for and for what company. So I'm going to click done and there you go. That's basically it. So what you're going to see is pending, which means that person has not yet accepted that email that Facebook sent out. Uh, um, giving them permissions and accesses to all these assets. Once they accept, I will say the pending change 
and it uh, it will just show the person and it will remind me again what assets I've assigned to them. So I've got full control and that is the way I like it because like I said, sometimes people have got to go. I just want to point out one other thing just so you know where it is in case you ever need it. Okay, and this is called partners. So we would just dealt with people. That's where you deal with individual people that you're adding to your account. Now, let's say that you're working with an agency or a company that's going to help you and your business grow. In that case, you have an option of adding those people as a partner and you're going to go ahead and add them like people, but you're actually adding a business. So you're going to go ahead and click on partners. You're going to click on add and you're going to give partner access to your assets um, or you're going to ask the partner to share your assets. So if you're dealing with a company that's going to help you with Facebook ads, for example, they'll let you know how they prefer to be added, um, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to have that control in your business manager and you're going to be able to easily remove them as well. So now we're going to learn how to add somebody directly through your business page on Facebook. So for that, what you want to do is just go to facebook.com. Okay, and make sure that on the very far right, you're going to click on it. And what you're going to do is switch to your business account and you're going to go to settings and privacy. And then you're going to click on settings. From settings from the left, you're going to click on new pages experience. And from there, the very top option is page access, and it should default to that page anyhow, but Facebook is notorious for moving things around. So I just want you to know what it's called. <laughs> so you're gonna go to page access, and then basically you've got options where you could add people directly and give them access to your business page, or you can give them certain task, as task assets, say that 10 times fast, task assets. And then you could also give them business access through here, or you could give a partner, which is a business, you can give them access through here. So basically what you wanna do is if you wanna add somebody, you're just gonna click on add new. Facebook is just going to give you an overview of what that means to add somebody and what kind of control that they're gonna have over your business page, just as a safeguard. You're gonna click on next. And then all you need to do is search that person's name or, the, or their email. I really wanna point out here that this is Facebook searching on Facebook for the person. So if you do it this way, you're going to have to use the personal email address of the person that they use for their Facebook account or Facebook won't be able to find them. So this person that I'm adding, that I want to add this way, let me see if I can find her name. Okay, there she is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click. So essentially at this point, your only option is to give the person full control and access. This is where it differs a bit from business manager because on business manager, you can give people very specific access to assets. So you can give them access to your page, but not your ads, for example. Here you give them access to everything. And when they have access to everything on your page, they can see your content. They could respond to any messages that come in and see the messages that come in. They could... Um, manage your ads and they can also look at your insights which is basically you know your stats and information about how your posts are doing on your page and other stats on your page and I just want to clarify for uh, those of you that are a little worried um, if you give somebody access to your page because remember we first entered the page this gives them access just to that page you specified so it doesn't mean that they have full control over your personal Facebook it doesn't mean they could see your personal Facebook messages because I know some of my clients get really concerned about that that's not gonna happen it just gives them full control over that business page and they can see everything happening within that business page and they can manage that for you so if that's what you hired the person to do then absolutely this is what you want to do and just click on full access and then go ahead and click on the give access and then what's going to happen is they're going to receive an email and they're going to say um, by facebook and they're going to say you've been granted access to these assets and they just have to accept it and then voila then they're going to be added to your list so basically what happens is then they're going to be under here people with access you're going to be able to see their name and then you're also going to have a remove options so you don't have to worry if you have to get rid of somebody quick and you don't want them to have access anymore you just go ahead you come in here 
and you click on that remove button and Facebook will ask you to re-enter your password to confirm you want to remove them. And once you do that, they are gone just like that. So <laughs> no worries there. You guys are safe with the system. And that's it. So by now you should be feeling pretty darn confident about adding your team members to Business Manager and assigning the assets you want them to have. So if you found this video helpful, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, say hi in the comments and let me know how this video has helped you out. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.